Hello everyone, welcome back to Altrius Plays Sky Vaults. I'm Altrius, this is my Sky Vault world, as you've seen before, and there is a zombie down there making a lot of noise, but I'm not going to do anything about it. The quest book wants us to do a lot of levelling up. Grind towards level 20, we get a knowledge point as a reward, which is nice, um, but I don't have a vault quest, so let's make one. I'm hurting, I'm painful. <laughs> let's make one. Uh, I already have one, but that's in my okay. Uh, yes. We can do this. Oops. Well, it wants the zombie flesh. And there's a zombie with flesh. So, should we just punch it? I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay. Um, our mob farm could do with a little bit of rework because we can get shot off the side very easily. Or we could drown whilst trying to avoid being shot off the side. Um, and if we're not, you know, doing the elytra thing, which we should be, there's, there's no excuse. Then it's very easy to become a cropper of the monster stuff. Possibly a sensible thing to do then, to pick some of these layers and just build platforms at some of the layers. And use those as the spawning platforms. Put a fence on, maybe, to stop them from climbing up, and then light the rest up. I did want to make a bubble baiter, but I couldn't be bothered <laughs> building up all of the necessary... Um... Look at that, 26 out of 28. Couldn't bother building up all of the necessary blocks of water. Leaves, bricks, string, and lapis. The only thing I haven't got is bricks, and that's easy as pie. Um, the stack upgrade has disappeared out of my bags. This one's still got it. Did I not make them? I'm sure I made one for the bin bag. Hmm. Well, that should help. <laughs> Two crystals. One can live in here. The other one. Let's see what we get. I remember in the previous episode we did lose our previous pick because I forgot about repairing it. Because we're trying to level to level 20 ASAP, I'm hoping that when we get there we'll be able to make a chromatic steel one and put more things on it, so I'm not worried about it. Basically. Activity monoliths. That's a new vault style. Lots of boards. Walnut. Ooh. Scorcio. Remember, we go in north to south. When we find stuff in the first room, if we find the monolith in the first room, what do we do? We move on. Find the next marked room, what do we do? Oh, look. Hope for the best. This is really cool. Uh, I say move on, but also... Um, no, I want this. So, move on later. Why are you not making pickup noises? So I haven't got my magnet on. I was throwing stuff at the altar. This must be the pirate theme, then. This is really cool. It is reminiscent of a ship <laughs> with all the wood, uh, I guess. Or, or maybe a, a shanty town on the cove or something. Uh oh. That sounds like an elite, don't you think? Hey, what are you doing? Like an hour, okay? Look at that! The fact that my own computer can lag in a server way is really frustrating. I mention it a lot. It's frustrating a lot. Oh! oh. Quick drink this. I used all of my mana. Nice. Even though it's 80% of my damage, it's still very powerful. I did mention that often we need to mine underwater, so we should put Aqua Affinity on the thing. And you know what? It's happened. Prophecy has been fulfilled. Oh, we've got um, an, an ornate vault. Didn't notice that on the way in. It means we get ornate chests sort of scattered randomly around the place. Very healthy. Ooh. 
This has got some cool POIs in it. I don't know if they're um, theme specific. I assume so. Ah, I didn't swap my gear out. I still got my elytra on. I wonder if I'm dying horribly. That's all right. Um, I'm doing really well, actually, now that I've realised that. Um, I can act accordingly. Sure, I could. Oh, well. Got distracted, probably. No dying, please. Break, please. Faster. Phew. Just one spawn. Remember what we said about lava? Don't even risk it. Especially with these anvils around. Goodness me. See, all this iron here is why we want those void upgrades in our drawers because we can pipe all the iron from the golem farm into the drawers and it can sort of be deleted as necessary. But then any more that we pick up, sort of in here, can similarly just be dumped into the system and it won't overflow. It'll take up some space in the inventory while we're moving around like this. But... Living room. Ah, no. Get out. Just a bit of Last. Quick. Get out of it. No. She's away. Ah! Too hard. Too pain. <laughs> no pain. Go away! <laughs> Don't break it fast enough. Got it. My heart is pounding. <laughs> There's no way I was going to do that. Like people did not help. So that thing, so you can, yeah, you can improve your bottles apparently by um, finding those things in dungeons. You have to right click on them and then you learn something from them. I've just learned a bottle modifier. I knew about those, but I did not know what they did because I've never found one before. So many of these, by the way. I haven't even found a key piece, let alone, <laughs> you know, uh, built an actual key for one of these doors. This would have been a lot easier, of course, if I hadn't forgotten to put my armor on. Another really. Are you lagging out, or are you just staying there? I'm stuck in a spider web. Oh, I love it that you can cheese these things. Four minutes. I don't think we're too far away. Probably make it back in four minutes. Do you want to just do another flipping dungeon? How about you? How about no? <laughs> do I sound like a fool to you? I mean, yes, but also shush. Oh, you haven't got a stack upgrade either. That's interesting. You're going to do one. Well, I've picked up a lot of stuff in this um, vault, actually. I'm sure I made stack upgrades for all of those. I don't know. Maybe I'm just losing my mind. Oh dear, two minutes. <laughs> we should probably think about leaving. Remember the first room we did skip all the loot from? Oh, that was a far easier vault, even though it was terrifying because of the dungeons. <laughs> Those are optional. I put myself in that situation. Well, that was a good vault. We were leaving with a decent amount of time left um, and a decent amount of not having died, which is a big benefit, I think. Having gone in without my... Oh, that was loud. <laughs> Having gone in without my stuff. A little bit foolish, but that's okay. A gilded chest scroll, actually. That's even nicer. I've got a lot of these chest scrolls. I'm quite happy. I think it's time we put these in one of these and possibly avoid one. 
Let's quickly check in this. We've got a gem here that is unidentified, a jewel. Unidentified magnet. And the living chest scroll is very expensive, so I'm not going to buy it. You can always buy this for 1500 by the way. Um, it's completely random what you get, so I'm not going to do it. But if you're feeling like a bit of a gamble, it's there for you. Relics. Ooh, three relics out of four packs. That's awesome. This is the minor pack, which is that one. This is the elemental one, which is that one. And this is the dragon one, which I think is... Yeah, that one. What are we doing on Benny? There was one Benny in the whole thing. Oh, right, cool. So what we've actually got here, these three pieces of equipment are actually stuff we found in the vault. It's not even our rewards. And we can have a look at our rewards while these roll. That's a good amount of extra mana. I... That's a lot of extra mana. Would lose the extra damage and healing efficiency, but I think that might be something worth thinking about. We also got this uh, augment for flooded theme. That sounds fun. Uh, bad, bad, bad. Maybe. Pretty cool. Did you find any more vault meat, by the way? Oh, we've got most of them now. Oh, well, we got three out of four <laughs> before. I'm not going to complain about none out of five, considering how rare they are. What you will notice is that because I don't have any of the gems or ore for the other two things that we need to make a pog, I will discover if I get any because they're not going to fall into the bag because I haven't been able to program the bag with them. So, let's have a look, good look out now for some um, some of all that stuff that we need, some, some ore POIs basically. We've got three monoliths, but otherwise no extra augments, so we haven't got any special extra chests or anything. We do also not have our elytra on this time. That was on purpose. Oh, it's a cave theme, which means we've got one of these. Um, we're also going south to north. Now, I don't think you can get a monolith in this place, but also I don't want to spend any time collecting all that stuff because I think I've got a lot of it. Um, th this may be a bit hasty because I've been using it quite quickly so we'll come back to that on the way back maybe if, when we get to uh, having completed all the monoliths and we need something to do we can loot that room <laughs> my first scallion might be my first tubby as well This has been a great room. There was a fist buzz that all rooms just didn't have uh, monoliths in them. But I'm not sure if that was ever the case, and I'm not sure even now. Because all rooms are not purely ore anymore. I don't know if the rules have changed or if it never was. Just a lot of ore, huh? Oh, what is this? <laughs> bring any money. Oh, it's not a money room, it's a don't die room. I always made that mistake, didn't I? You know this. Very common. I don't think I'm going to get all the money on this and this is too much interesting stuff to do. Oh. Oh dear. Hello. No, thank you. I'll just leave this room, it's too scary. <laughs> I don't like it. Good thing I actually put my armor on. Doesn't seem to be a great deal of monoliths in this whole world. Just, just as I was thinking, I was going back. That's some more vault meat. Yeah, I've got seven. 
I want to spec into living chests again to get this flipping um, this bounty done by looking for living chests to have the vault meat in them, but I don't want to have to regret my choice because that costs a lot in Benny to right? right? So it's a struggle. What do I do? I'm going to not and hope that I can find them organically uh, or possibly in the next vault. South. At uh, any point, we can just turn left. <clears throat> Get back to our main thingy until we go too far and have gone past the vault portal and don't notice and we start orbiting it and getting lost and confused. Until then... Ah. Job done. Do you remember what I said? First room was full of chromatic iron. That'll do. We definitely need to figure out a way of dealing with all this vault stone. We could just leave it behind. <laughs> so you don't have to keep it in a bag. So how's that? It's level 18. Two unspent skill points. We're getting there. Uh, do we want to save up for speed then? I kind of do. Because we're going to get to level 20 in the next however long. Because that's the goal. And then we can buy a level in speed and actually be pegging around the place like you'd never believe. Let's see what our next one costs. And I'll put the rest away. And then we're going to have to make some more. Unbelievable. This was manageable, doesn't it? Ah. We get this jewel from uh, just in the vault, I think. 20 size, 4.8 mining speed. That could be really good on something that is going to be, for example, breaking spawners in dungeons. That sounds great. Especially if it's a, a, a chromatic steel. Pick. That sounds like a good thing. Uh, bad. Bad. Meh. 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 You know what? Meh. Meh all of them. Could be okay, but I don't think it's better than what we've got in the chest. And more mana, maybe. Eh. I'm not even going to re-roll them. Geode caves. I don't know which one that is. I wonder if it has. I'm wondering if it has anything special. Because uh, some themes have special runes that can spawn only in that theme. For example, the caves theme can have the chromatic iron cave that we saw at the end of the last one. I don't know what's in Geode Caves, but that sounds really interesting. I have not seen Flooded. I don't know what Flooded looks like. I kind of want to... Maybe we should put these on some crystals and just see what they are. Why not, right? But I don't have enough spider eyes. I only got two. And spiders don't spawn on this, presumably because the platform's not wide enough. Um, and since we have this platform here anyway... Well, I mean, there's one right there. Look. Um, this place only spawns at night, because it's you know, open to the sky. This place only spawns passive mobs because it's lit. Uh, okay, and they're pushing each other off the edge. I should probably finish these off, huh? Um, so I, I thought maybe why not just sort of do this, but more so. so let's, uh, let's just work on that. So I built myself a mob farm all the way down there. <laughs> See it? Sort of. Whoops! 
quite well, actually, because there's so little space in this whole place for mobs to spawn. They all spawn there, as long as you're not close enough or too far away, I suppose. So I've made myself two vault crystals. Let's see if two more vaults is going to get us to level 20. Also, do you recall? Eight, nine. <laughs> Eight of nine. Come on. So we just need to find one more of those. Oh, change gear. Change gear. Right. Yeah, we've got our water. We've got our unobtainium. What do I normally forget? Have I got it? I don't know. 1x coin stacks. Nice. Oh, excuse me. Nice. This is the a drowned vault type theme. It's got all the coral and stuff. Gathering elixir. That's grand. We like elixir because we just do every room. And I uh, hope that we get plenty of elixir from doing all the things that we're going to do anyway. it would make sense to put the coins if we're gonna have extra into a bag. Not sure what's given us so much elixir. It might be the mobs. But we've basically finished and I'm still in the first room. A couple more things and we can say that we've actually finished an elixir vault in the first room. <laughs> Aha Ha! We did it! We just need to find a lodestone, of course. Actually, yeah. Um, we have to keep exploring until we can win. <laughs> Second room. Game gets to redeem itself. Ready. Oh, nice. Yes. Worth it. See? You can't go wrong that many times in a row. Ooh, this is going to be bound. So much gear, actually. Oh, even more. Not all of it. Uh, scrappy. In fact, some of it's rare. Still need a lodestone. Only 15 minutes. We've spent 10 minutes on the first two rooms, both of which are highly bountiful, so it's not like the time was... Not well spent, but also we still have to find the final part of the puzzle, i.e. the lodestone, to get out of here safely. So apparently there are drowned that can shoot you with um, javelins, which exist in vanilla, of course, but uh, in the overworld. Apparently they have the same spawning rules as skeletons that can shoot you, that would make sense. It's a great opportunity to try another strategy, and the strategy that I'm thinking of is now that we've done it, we find out how to get home, remember where that is, and then go and find some slightly more interesting rooms and just the same old shoot and loot every single time. Although I do keep finding interesting chests, so here we go. Look. So on the way back home. Well, I was hoping that a couple of wooden chests meant other not wooden chests in the same place, but <laughs> nope. Okay. Let's, uh, let's dig in then. Yay, another level up. Three on spent skill. And it's raining. I, I, I forgot to record. We didn't miss much. I've replaced my helmet. And my chest plate. I've put my chest plate I just scrapped because it was nearly dead, and my helmet I've put in my um, wardrobe over here. And I realized my wardrobe is helpful because if I want to go into a raw vault, I can use the, the durability of those items instead of these ones, which are good for actual defense and fighting and stuff. So, so I, I have also, on the vault you can see in front of you, used up the flooded modified. Remember the augment that we found? They're in here. I used up the flooded one. I used just in the anvil. Cost you one one uh, experience level. 
and uh, I guess we'll see what that looks like. Oh, it's the pirate theme. All right, we've got an elixir of up to do. Completing it might get us enough XP to hit level 20, but we're really early on in level 19. I want to get to level 20 by the end of this episode, so... There's a lodestone in the first room as well. Good. Presumably you can get elixir bolts where ores are the key, but none spawn. This was just downstairs, by the way. We have nearly finished. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh. Oh, did I? T no, I, I did find a new sword. I didn't tell you about that because I forgot to record it. Um, which is going to be great, but I'm not going to use it yet. I think we should save it until we are struggling, basically, with this sword. Um, <clears throat> just durability, right? I'm trying to min-max the lifetime of all my equipment. Oh, I just realised we finished. Already done. This has been a bountiful elixir vault, that's for sure. Just in terms of the elixir. I could do our favourite trick of running around the vault looking for something really interesting instead of just looting everything that we find. Did we find our... I've still got one vault need to find. That's ridiculous. Do you know what? Yeah, it'll pay off. There we go. And now I can unspec that because I don't need it anymore. I would have found those anyway, that's probably the most Ooh. A dark village room. Remind me what this means. Right, be prepared to run away. Oh no, I can't ignore it anymore. <laughs> like... Ah, silverfish. You know, you know. We need to make sure we can leave. <laughs> Ooh, balls. Including some Benny so I can regret my choice again. Hello. Made it if I didn't need the kiwi. So good job. How long has this been here? Yeah, nearly made it. We could, might be able to finish that off with burgers, so we'll try that. 84 chests. These are not big numbers. When we can start breaking chests more reliably, those numbers will go up. Look how much bronze I got from that vault. That's ridiculous. Wow. Look at this. Apply it to a crystal in Nanvasad. Looter's Dream completely negates all tracked chances from ever occurring, even when on a crystal with a tracked modifier. You can find them in a treasure chest, which is behind those doors. It's 3,000, and I have... You think that, that's almost worth it, don't you think? Like, for the future? It seems really rare. I'm going to buy it. There's some burgers. Each one gives you a random amount of the um, XP you need to get to the next level. I'm not entirely sure whether it's a random amount of XP or a random percentage to the next level. I think it's a random fixed amount. So as you level up, you need more and more of these burgers, but there are also better burgers you can make um, as the loot for them gets unlocked at higher levels. Good thing I'm not full. Cool. Ha, huh, perfect amount. Uh, we have completed a quest. Complete that. Thank you. Right. Now that we're level 20, we're not going to get Beginner's Grace anymore. So the Spirit Extractor is a thing that we need. This will allow us to get back our uh, loot if we die in the vault. But we have to pay for it. 
to right. <clears throat> there are many ways of enhancing and customizing your vault crystal. At level 24, you'll start to find catalyst fragments in wooden chests. With nine of which you can make a catalyst, and you can infuse it with mystical essence, power and catalyst, can be a positive modifier, and most likely a random negative modifier. These are things like uh, extra traps or extra chests or extra coin piles. You know those things where there's a, a bonus alongside what so far has just been beginner's grace. You can then infuse that. So you get a random one, usually a negative one, but often a, uh, along with a positive one. Sometimes just a positive one. And sometimes a positive one is not as good as a negative one is bad. So we'll get to that. But that's level 24. Apply it. You have to apply one. Anyway, I think that'll do it for this episode. The goal is to get to level 20 and finish that quest, which we did. We've got four unspent skill points and one unspent expertise point, which I will probably spend next episode. But until then, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've been Altrius. This has been my Skyblock Vault Hunter's World. And next episode, we'll probably go into even more vaults because we've got to get to level 24 to manage the next quest. And I've got a few of the uh, knowledge stars I need and some of the knowledge shards that I need to get some of those things unlocked that I am now saving up for. But blindly, I found a lot of these, so that's going really well. Anyway, as mentioned, thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time. And hope to see you next time. Bye.